Hello, and thank you for choosing Komatsu products. This video will cover operator controls found on the Komatsu D65-18 and D85-18. So let's get started. Always perform a walk-around inspection before mounting any piece of machinery. Once the walk-around inspection is complete and the area around the machine is clear, the machine can safely be operated. Always use three points of contact when mounting any machine. Now that we are in the cab, the first thing we want to do is fasten the seatbelt. Once the seatbelt is fastened, we can become familiar with the operator controls. To the right of the touch panel is a machine key. The machine key can be turned to multiple positions. Turning the key to the on position allows the operator to confirm functionality of several important controls. With the machine key turned to the on position, the operator can test the function of the engine shutdown secondary switch. This switch is located to the right side of the machine monitor. With the key in the on position, the monitor will indicate the status of this switch. This machine uses two lock levers that control machine operation. On the right side is the work equipment lock lever. On the left side is the travel lock lever. These levers can be operated independently of each other. When these lock levers are in the up position, the machine can travel and the work equipment can move. When these lock levers are in the down position, the machine cannot travel and the work equipment cannot move. To the left of the machine monitor is the headlamp switch and the rear lamp switch. The cab roof lights can be controlled by using the switch above the operator's right shoulder. On the left side of the operator's console, there are several controls. Here we can see the throttle dial and the Palm Command Control System, or PCCS. The PCCS joystick allows the operator to select reverse travel, forward, while also controlling machine steering. Gear shift operation can also be controlled using the up switch or down switch. The monitor will display changes in gear speed. To the right of the operator's seat is the blade control lever. This lever can be used to raise lower and tilt the blade. To the rear of the blade control lever is the ripper control lever. This lever allows the ripper to be raised, lowered, or held in position. In front of the ripper lever is the machine horn. In the floor of the machine, we see the brake pedal and decelerator pedal. The operator can control certain functions by using the monitor switches. The operator can choose power or economy mode by pressing the operation mode switch. Power mode allows the machine to function at maximum engine output, and economy mode can be used to reduce fuel consumption. The gear shift mode selector switch will change the current gear shift mode. The machine must be in neutral to change the current gear shift mode. The customized switch allows the operator to select specific functions to use on the machine and store them into memory. The buzzer cancel switch can temporarily override the buzzer if the machine is experiencing a fault. The reverse travel slow mode switch will turn the reverse slow mode on or off. The operator can also adjust the climate control system. Fan speed is controlled by using the fan switch. Fresh air or circulation mode can be selected by using the air selector switch. Temperature control can be controlled by using the temperature control switch. Vent output selection is controlled by the vent selection switch. Automatic control is selected by using the automatic switch. The air conditioner switch can be turned on or off. This switch allows the system to provide cool air or dry heat. The off switch turns the air conditioning system off. The machine monitor also allows the operator to monitor the rear view camera. The operator can customize the camera guidelines. By pressing the F3 switch, the operator can view the camera even while the machine is not traveling in reverse. The monitor can also be used to reverse the fan. 
This allows the operator to clear debris that may have built up in the cooling fins of the radiator. This concludes the operator controls video for the Komatsu D65-18 and D85-18 dozer. If you would like more information regarding this product, please contact your local sales representative or visit KomatsuAmerica.com. Thank you for choosing Komatsu products.